an API green score, what's next after major tech disruptions for airlines, and banks starting to develop more APIs for use outside the enterprise. That's all coming up. Hello, I'm Lydia DeFranchi with the Digital News Desk, a quick digest of digital transformation and API news to know. The most immediate culprit for massive flight cancellations in the U.S. over the holidays was winter storm Elliott, but airline executives are also pointing to outdated technology. The FAA's system outage in January further damaged confidence in the industry, grounding nearly 11,000 flights nationwide for several hours. United Airlines CEO says it should be a wake-up call for the aviation industry, noting most airlines have outgrown their technology infrastructure. Southwest Airlines, which suffered the brunt of the disruptions, has just appointed a new CIO to manage some $1.3 billion in tech investments and upgrades this year. Companies are getting familiar with energy efficiency labels for offices, for example. But what about for the less tangible assets, like APIs? The API Thinking Collective has come up with an API green score designed to help practitioners consider the environmental impact of their IT structures. The French think tank offers a best practices guide and score sheet to help measure and reduce the carbon footprint of APIs. What's interesting is because a lot of these environmental best practices are less wasteful of resources, they also align with smart business practices. For example, reducing duplication of data or bundling APIs in a customer-centric way so apps don't need to call multiple APIs separately. McKinsey's global survey on APIs in banking reveals maturing opinions and strategies, with 81% of respondents saying they think APIs are a priority for business and IT functions in the industry. There's still some disconnect when it comes to aligning these priorities with business objectives, though. Three quarters of today's APIs are still internal, and IT leaders surveyed say some organizations continue to not understand what APIs are and how the business can benefit from them. As Axway's head of open banking, Eyal Savan, points out, growing consensus and regulation around technical standards make it easier than ever before for banks to take advantage of the value open banking has to offer. Once that ecosystem exists and all of this data is being shared based on common open standards, that anyone can use but nobody owns, that creates an entirely new universe of opportunity. Suddenly banks can get to customers that they couldn't reach before. They can offer capabilities through fintech partnerships that are unable for them to create themselves. And that leads to entirely new forms of business intelligence and the ability to create revenue streams that previously were simply unavailable to them. Some encouraging results from the survey in that direction Financial institutions are shifting their API goals from cost savings to monetization, and they're seeing an emerging focus on opening up more APIs to partners and third parties. That's it for us today. Check out the link below if you want to dive deeper on any of these stories, and thanks for watching.